Hi, kindergartners. It is read aloud time. And um, the last read aloud that we did together was a read aloud called Fireman Small. And we chatted a lot about community helpers because this text set is called Living and Working Together Community. So it, uh, the whole text set, all of the books have something to do with um, people living in the community and um, how they can help each other and work together. Today, our book is called Lola at the Library. And so um, what kind of community helper do you think might be in this story? Who works at a library? A librarian, right? And we have a library at our school with Mrs. Grant, our librarian. Um, but there are public libraries also that anybody can go to to um, find books to read. And you can check out books and take them home if you have a library card. And so there are librarians who work at um, the public libraries too. This story about Lola is about her visiting the public library. Lola at the Library is by Anna McQuinn and it's illustrated by Rosalind Beardshaw. Lola at the Library. Lola loves Tuesdays. On Tuesdays, Lola and her mommy go to the library. Can you tell what time of the day it is? Looks like Lola is trying to wake her mommy up in the morning so they can get ready to go to the library, I bet. The library opens at nine o'clock, but Lola is ready to go long before that. She puts all the books she borrowed last week in her backpack. Her library card is also very important. So Lola is packing up her library card and all of the books that she borrowed the last time she was at the library so she can return those. The library is not very far away, so Lola and her mommy always walk there. Lola and her mommy give back the books from last week. The librarian buzzes them through the machine. So it's important for Lola to return those books that she borrowed the last time because they don't belong to her. And she just borrowed them for a little while and she's being very responsible by returning them so someone else can enjoy them next. There is a special section in the library just for children. It is really cool. Nobody ever says, shh. Sometimes there is singing. Lola knows all the words and the hands for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Sometimes there is story time. Lola loves that. When I saw this picture, I thought about when Miss Morrison was teaching us about feelings and you talked about the feeling of being interested or curious. When I look at the looks on these children's faces, they look very interested in that book. So our illustrator, Rosalind, did a really good job making those pictures to show how the characters are feeling. After story time, Lola chooses her books. In the library, she can have any book she wants. Lola likes stories with bears and anything with shoes. There are so many, it takes ages to choose. Mommy has some books too. 
The librarian buzzes them through the machine, then stamps the date inside. That's a due date, the date that the book is due back. They don't do that at the library anymore, but they used to put a stamp in there so that you knew which day the, the book was due back. Lola must bring them back in two weeks, but she will probably be back far before, excuse me, she will probably be back for more long before then. So she has to bring them back in two weeks, but remember she and her mommy go to the library every Tuesday. So she'll be back at the library in one week on the next Tuesday. Lola and her mommy always get a snack after visiting the library. Mommy has a cappuccino and Lola has juice. Whenever Lola has been good, her mommy lets her taste the foam. Mmm. Do you know what a cappuccino is? It's a coffee drink that has some foamy steamed milk on the top of it. And Lola likes to taste the foam. Then it is time to go home again. Every night after Lola is tucked in bed, her mommy reads her a story. It is the best way to end the day. Both Lola and her mommy look very happy, very content to enjoy that time together. That's the end. So Lola and the library, excuse me, Lola at the library. It's not really um, a book all about librarians, but it had some information about the community helper um, that the librarian is and some things that librarians do. So I want you to think about librarians and how they are community helpers. What kinds of things do they do at the library that help other people in their community? I noticed um, when we were reading the book that Lola really liked the singing at the library. So a librarian might um, help children at the library to have a fun time there by teaching them some songs. And Lola even talked about some hand motions for songs. And um, Lola also really liked the story time. So who was reading the book during story time? It was the librarian. So uh, a librarian also offers story time to children to help them to um, enjoy books together and um, participate in a fun reading activity. And um, remember that the librarian helped to check in the books and to check out new books. When Lola returned her books, the librarian buzzed them through the machine. And when she checked out new books, the librarian buzzed them through the machine. So a librarian helps people to check out books. And I know that a librarian if you're looking for a certain type of book, a librarian can help you to find the books that you're looking for. So they're really helpful to, um, to direct people to the things that they're looking for, the books they're looking for at the library. And they always know a lot about books, which is very helpful. And um, maybe you can think of some more things that librarians do that are helpful to their community. Oh, I just thought of one more. Do you think maybe a librarian might order new books for the library and also take care of the books at the library? Like if they got a little rip, a little tear in a page, the librarian might repair the books to try to keep them nice for other people to check out. There are so many things that librarians do to help the community. So I want you to think about those things and I want you to head over to the Write About Reading activity and I'm going to have you share a way that librarians help the community. 
Thank you for listening to the story. See you next time.